Welcome back. Well, I got the new stand done for the collab piece I did a couple of weeks ago. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link down below in the description, but I made a stand for it and I just wasn't happy with it, so I decided to redo it. This one's out of walnut. It's about nine inches tall, and I had to use two pieces because I didn't have a piece of walnut that big. After cutting it out on the bandsaw, I used the Arbor Tech to carve and shape it. Let's get started. Help support the companies that support our community.
I really like this style of stand better than the other one. Overall, it is about 17 and a half, and I used the Arbor Tech to just kind of shape it after I cut it out on the bandsaw. And I put a little video up on uh, Instagram using this little tool here, and I had a lot of questions about it. So what it is, it's a pneumatic uh, little drum sander. So you hit it with air, and there's a little bladder in there. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can get one, but it comes, you can buy a little sanding sleeve. So what I did was just shape it with the ArborTech and then I started out with 80 grit on that thing or the orbital sander and then switched to that to get around the corners. What's nice about this is you can deflate the bladder a little bit so it kind of wraps around the corners. I use it a lot when I do uh, the mirrors I make too. I make some vanity mirrors and wall mirrors. So I got this probably 10 years ago and I believe I got it from uh, Grizzly but I can never find it on their site anymore so I don't think they sell it but um, uh, Shopbox sells it so I'll put a link down below for that and it has bearings on here and you can use it on hand drill or you can put it right on the lathe I do that a lot too but really much happier with the way the stand came out um, yeah I, I like it a lot more there is one other thing I need to do and that is I was gonna put the dowels in because I had drilled those holes for it. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link uh, down below in the description and at the end of the video. And I was gonna have it stand up off of this a little bit, but I don't know, it just kinda, I held it up there and it looked kinda weird. So what I'm gonna do is plug, I'm gonna turn some maple burl dowels for those two in the front and I'm just gonna put one in the back and I'm actually gonna attach that one so it's more stable. I mean, it's stable, but it's, uh, I just don't want this ever sliding off of there, but really happy with it. I was hoping that the walnut would would blend a little bit more, because but I had to use a different grain pattern and that's why it's a little bit different color, but I didn't have a giant chunk of walnut, but much happier with, with this. All right, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and we'll have another video next week. All right, take care.